Hi everyone and welcome to the Floss Marketing School. Today I will focus this video on the configuration file of Matmo Analytics as it's true that uh, as a general user you may not uh, go within this file uh, that often and you may be a bit confused when uh, you read for example the documentation of Matmo and you are wondering how you can act on it. So let's see in this video how you can do this. Okay, so let's say that you are within uh, Matomo Analytics and you are facing, uh, let's say, one difficulty and you refer to the documentation. And when you read the documentation, it's telling you something like this, right? In order, for example, here to be able to recognize automatically the user based on this cookie and not the IP address, you need to add the following line to your config file. And when you go within Matomo and you click here within the admin, you will see that uh, on the left column, you have the config part, which is down here, config file, and you cannot edit anything, okay? And you cannot edit anything even if you are a super user because that's a security, okay? The idea is actually to not leave this page open for everyone, or at least uh, for someone who will get access to this window and to be able to put things within it. But what this page is saying is actually that there is another file that it's currently reading and on which it is applying the configuration to Matomo. And this is what it's saying up here, right? Here you can view the Matomo configuration if you are running Matomo in load balance and valid and blah, blah, blah. Okay, and if you would like to change the values, you need to go to config slash config.ini.php file. And in order to access to this given file, in order to change the configuration of Matomo, you need, of course, to access to your server. So to make it simple, only your sysadmin probably or only some developer within your team will be able to access this given file. So that's what we're going to see right now. Uh, so, in order to access to their servers, they will probably use SSH or, or here, for example, when I'm on a local installation, I just go to the uh, installation uh, files of Matomo and within a folder of Matomo, which is named config, if you do something like this, you will see that you have one file which is named config.ini.php file. So, for the sake of this example, what you can see here is that I have uh, the development mode which is activated and I'm going to uh, show you how you can change your config file in order to disable this given uh, menu over here because that's something that you can only do thanks to the config.ini.php file. So in order to modify it you can just basically do a nano so I'm just going to do like sudo nano because I need to have the rights to edit the given the given file and here you just enter your password password okay down yep password okay and now you need of course to look for uh, the given information that you are interested in so in my case I'm going to use the where is right so it's ctrlw and if I do ctrlw and then I'm gonna uh, just say okay development okay so that's just in order to search I'm gonna press enter and here it's gonna say me oh okay that's where the word development is so in my case if I put it to zero because uh, it's uh, what we call a boolean so a boolean can be either true false or can be either zero or one I'm gonna just put it to zero and I'm gonna uh, remove it like this okay uh, then do not forget to do a write out so in my case that would be ctrl or so ctrl or and then I save it and then in order to exit my given config file I need to do exit so it's ctrl x it's ctrl x and now I just exit it so normally now if I'm lucky enough and I do like a ctrl f5 or just an f5 I should see that the development mode is not enabled anymore because uh, I just uh, change it within the config file. So as you can see, I cannot see it anymore. So I'm going to uh, move it back because I like the development mode and I'm going to enable it back. Okay, so this is the config file. So on the config file, you can of course configure Matomo in order to uh, activate some plugins and do many things like this, right? As you can see, this is a really, really long file where you can um, add uh, some uh, parameters that you cannot add thanks to the UI of Matomo. So now I'm going to exit and if I go back over here and I do F5, you will see that normally if I'm lucky enough, I will see my development back over here. 
And that's it uh, for the video of today. So as an exercise, if you would like to know a little bit how this config file is working and how you can uh, modify it, uh, please feel free to install Matomo locally and try to make your own changes based on the documentation of Matomo. And you will see those changes appearing within the UI of Matomo. And that's it for the video of today. So I really hope that you enjoy it and that you understood what is the config file of Matomo. Thanks for watching. And once more, do not hesitate to share this video, create the video on your own and share them as well.